Hello, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I love live. I <laughs> love I live. The best thing ever. Hi, Mindeep. How are you, John? Hi, Mindeep. It's great having um, sessions like this, Natalie. That you were saying it just you it's kind just, of you kind of by the seat of your pants. Hand, hand, hand. So, so um, um, you guys have to mute. You guys have to mute. Okay. We we have to mute uh, when we not talk. So what we so what we wanted. You know. No, it's okay, right? Is it echoing? Yes. Yes. It is. Maybe we can need to put the headsets then. So while they're figuring figuring it out, um, yeah. So while they're they're figuring it out. Um, I wanted to talk to you about an event that I just got back from. Uh, we, I went to Montreal and I was attending uh, Jean Sebastien. He has a Horizon team and he had a big attraction event that was there and he had an Olympian there. Um, no it way. Was, yeah, it was a great event. Like that's a time that I wish that you were with me so you can kind of sit and translate. But I was lucky enough to have another agent sitting beside me. He's like, oh, he's talking about this. I'm like, I kind of got a glimpse of it, but not a lot. So um, it was really, really nice. Um, and then after uh, we kind of just mingled a little bit and then went to a charity dinner, which I oh, love. That's so nice. Anyway, yeah, he set up the charity um, dinner. But I just have to say, like, the atmosphere, um, the camaraderie in Montreal, Quebec, mm -hmm. I've never seen anything like it. Um, they will drive down to attend each other's um, events, help each other out, hop on calls to be able to help each other. It just... I, I loved every second of it and it's improving more and more. Um, I don't know how much we can improve on it. I just love the unity that they have as our agents, you know, that, you know, are, that are there. You know, in Quebec, you know, Quebec is growing, growing so fast. So fast. Yeah. Yeah. In yeah. Quebec, in Quebec. Um, guys, can you um, guys, hear us? Like, is, is muting, it okay? Or still there's eco? Please mute. Please mute. Okay. So, um, yeah, like with Quebec, we've got 17,000 realtors there. So with 17,000 realtors, I mean, it, it, it's it's surprising to me how it just functions on its own, whether it's Absolutely. TV, whether it's radio, whatever it is, it just functions on its own and yeah. you know, the success level and just our agents made me so proud to see them unite the way that they did on this trip. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. I love yeah. hearing that. Yeah. So um, Mandeep, we have Mandeep um, with us today. Um, we'll mute John and you you can go ahead so that way we don't echo. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you for sharing the uh, Quebec event. It sounded like a, a huge success and congratulations on that. So today we're very excited to have Mandeep Desi from uh, the GTA area here from Mississauga from Aspire Group you know, sharing with us his experience so far with EXP, a uh, big team leader out here in this huge, beautiful office. We are in the podcast room here. So Mandeep, how has it been here it's, at EXP? It's, it's crazy, right? So the, I remember I can relate to that, my story when I started. So I one gentleman introduced me about EXP. And then I thought, okay, I was about to join a different brand. And then because I was looking for more opportunities as our team was expanding, and then everything was done, contract paperwork was done with a different organization. And then I came to know about EXP. I thought, okay. And then uh, I discussed with my wife, what's, what's the worst can go? I, I'll leave it, right? So that's the, why not try and experiment this? This is a new uh, concept coming up and it's a good opportunity for the team to expand. It's a good model, end of the day, as me as an agent, if you think, I'm making good money. That's what I thought, I realized. I didn't consider much about the brand, nothing about how many people it have, how many countries it is, how much exposure it's going to give me in the future. I thought, okay, I'm getting more money into my pocket end of the mm. day, and I'll be ICANN agent soon, it'll be 100% commission, or right. why not, let's go for it. And then once I came into that, two, three months it took me, you know, it, it, was, story, it was story different. Mm. To be very honest with you, I thought, okay, this, this is, maybe it's it's next generation thing, yeah. and I have to take my own time to digest to it. But once I got my icon status, I was 100%, the whole team we expanded, and uh, I attended the events in Vegas, I was there, I was in Denver, right? I was in Orlando, and I met so many people, so many people like you, it motivated me. I thought it's a long term 
process and uh, and as of now it's a crazy mind blowing things for me awesome. the opportunity it have given me the opportunity have given it to our team make, uh, meeting like minded people like you and attending those events networking and it's a different level altogether i would absolutely. say absolutely yeah yeah you know i came over here for three things revenue share stocks and kv core lead generation yes um but I re- what i really got was the collaboration yes. tell us a little bit about how collaborative EXP really is. So uh, I think that collaboration is the key. That's why we have a top performer from BC sitting in GTA and we are collaborating and doing the mastermind here. So that that's the beauty of EXP. I can approach John, John right? I can approach GK, the top agents right, who have been doing business more than two million and then they are there to share that secrets. And I was educating the same and we were in one of the events before this and I was educating the same to our team members also. Mm. If you go to some ABC real estate brokerage, the agents will be solo. They will say, oh, this guy is coming now. He's uh, is going to ask something about <laughs> from me. But yeah. our approach is different. We yeah. say, okay, come to us, we'll help. If, if even you don't, I'm not getting anything out of you, but still I'm there to help you. Mm. That was a synergy. I think that's a culture, that's a collaboration, which EXP or maybe you know, Glenn as a brand have built up. Mm-hmm. And it's on our blood, right? That's what I was explaining to John before this we have such a big office and we are ready to invest it. We are there to help people out. Awesome. Uh, maybe it's a new real estate agent, maybe you are experienced, maybe you are a veteran water. We are there. So it's a collaboration is the key and the support system. And I can approach anyone in the uh, in the brokerage when I can message Glenn, the founder of the billion and dollar age. And he was sitting here, right? So with us and he don't need to be. But he right. was there, right? So his vision is totally different. He want, okay, agent is the powerhouse. He need to focus on them. Mm. Let's focus and put our energy on that. That's the, that's the reason why EXP is expanding so fast. That's right. I think collaboration is one aspect of it. Mm-hmm. There is a support. The most important thing is the culture. The culture oh, okay. drives everything. Yeah. You are, you, they say, right? Your tribe attracts uh-huh. a vibe, right? So that's the same thing is happening here. That's why we are connected. That's why you were connected with the EXP. You have been long back. It's a motivation for us. If you can do it, we can do it, do it too, right? Absolutely. Thing, right? Yeah. I think so. And just to further touch on that, Glenn uh, at our event on Friday touched on if you provide great agent experience, the numbers will naturally grow. Mm -hmm. How has your experience been with us, you know, either at corporate or just the agent community in general here at EXP? I think it's it's the crazy, uh, I I could give a specific example. Uh, We we thought of, our team thought, why not we have, because it was COVID, obviously everything was online and we had a office, we thought, why not we have brokers coming uh, from EXP to our office, it'll give face-to-face connection because To me, I'm still more traditional. I believe face-to-face connection need to be there. Mm-hmm. Same for clients, same for our real estate agents. So then, then we approach uh, brokers here in EXP. We have um, in Ontario in particular, we have five brokers. And then we have Dixon Wong. He's, he's a specialist. He's into pre-construction. Awesome. We need some guidance on that. He thought, okay, why not we collaborate and do some uh-huh. events here? So he said, okay, why not? I can. And I requested, can we do it after five, right? So it's yeah. good, right? So that, then said, why not? I can drive. And he came all the way one and a half hour driving wow. to our office. So this is this is the synergy. This is they're there to help. And then the, uh, in case you message them, you call them. They're not available. They right away they call you. They know because they are for us, for the support system, mm-hmm. because they know agent is there. If they're not working, maybe they're stuck. That's why they're messaging in. They're not taking right. for granted. They're there after you. So I felt, I felt that, that the support system is there. The eco is there. Only thing which I can relate it, people don't know how to use it. Mm. Even I don't approach John, right? So you're not going, you'll say no to me, worst case, right? But the only hesitant we have is our, I think it's our subconscious it's mind. Yeah, right? yeah. We said, okay, maybe what John will think if I say this to that. Worst case, John will say, okay, I'm not available. Yeah. Right? I asked you, right, John, are you available? Maybe no, I thought like, you're not, maybe next time. Yeah. That's the worst can happen. At least give a shot, give it a try. So that's that's what I felt uh, the challenge, maybe the people, the community overall, they mm-hmm. feel like they, they always need to be pushed. Maybe what that's what I felt with our team also. They don't know how to use the support. Yeah, that people are there because their mindset is still traditional. They right. feel like the brokers are like those. everybody competing yeah. against each other. Yeah. So that's that's the I, I feel this. Uh, if you know how to take the help, and you'll take five, ten x uh, type of help is available for you, and it's a global. 
I can be anywhere, right? It's not uh, Ontario. I can be in BC. We, as of now, we work in Alberta also. We work in Ontario. So we are in two provinces that is helping mm. us. It's helping us to grow more, to more, uh, do more production, to help more clients, to uh, have more people joining us and bring more food on the people's table. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and again, uh, us here at EXP, you just need to be, you know, uh, not, not shameless, but like to, to have the courage to ask. And you have no problems with asking. Maybe, you know, some agents just need to, you know, pull up their courage and ask. Because what I did was I approached Kenny fast mm -hmm. and I asked him, hey, how did you build your team? And he introduced me to a coach. Mm -hmm. And that's why, that's how I was able to leverage my team from seven agents to 20 agents wow. plus. Mm -hmm. And today our, on our drive here, Mandeep drove me here. Um, then I was sharing what I learned from Kenny fast to you. Yes. So, because. and that's how we collaborate. Um, so that's the collaboration and, and the culture that we have here at EXP. Tell us a little bit about your experience with the other very clear benefits of EXP. Revenue share, stocks, and lead gen. How has that been for you? So definitely I can talk about, about the lead generation system, the KV code, the platform that, give, that have given me an opportunity. Before that I was still struggling. Maybe I was like struggling with the axles. I was struggling with the you know, copy and pen. The leads were scattered here. Now I have an organized approach. And the best part is I don't have to pay anything extra. The system was already there. I just need to leverage that. Right. The training is there. Other people are using it. Yeah. That's why I educate our team members, all other real estate agents. The system is already in my phone. Mm. Whenever some leads come in, I just portion them. As of now, I have a 2,000 warm leads in my database wow. after joining EXP. It's that's amazing. that's that's the truth right so i can do as much business from them so production is never an issue and we always nurture them mm. that's the beauty of it the platform is there we use just there's a pre-construction project this is just listed this got just sold there's a new there events coming up so we are building that connection that connection is always there mm. so i'm thankful that we have that technology Perfect. and it's very straightforward i think kb code that's more of the lead generation and when I joined, I, I like I can still say to that, I never joined for a revenue share. I was oh. very, very open to that. I thought, no, I'm more of a production guy. I do right. it. If someone joins, that's Perfect. good. That's yeah. good. If, if not, that's that's fine to me, right? Hmm. So as of now, still we have more than 50 real estate agents in our team. Things are working because yeah. there's no middle layers. If you're getting, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, I think that's, that's what... Uh, uh, it's a sort of a bonus mm. that's why I can relate to that still you have to perform you have to uh, uh, do the hustle which I've been doing as a traditional real estate agent yeah. but if you're getting something on the sidelines if you're getting some sort of a, uh, uh, incentive what's wrong with that that's there's, perfect that's there's no issues with that so that's that's bonus part is always there incentives are already there obviously stocks uh, so I see that's a for granted. It's something I always get some emails. You got yeah, some yeah, yeah. stocks granted. I don't go into that details. For me, that's more of a retirement. It's there, ah. I'm getting that as again another super bonus. I would say, yeah. So here, um, everybody talks about EXP as you know we just attract agents, but in fact, only five percent of the whole company actually does attraction. We grow naturally, but we're focused on production hundred yes. percent. Yes. That's what you're here for, to do more transactions, to be able to utilize the resource that we have yes. at EXP to mm -hmm. help your customers and your clients better. Yes. Right. So thank you for sharing that. I want to turn it over to Natalie and Nadia to see if you guys had any questions for Mandy. I do. I wanted to, to go back to that event that you did in the fall. Um, it was amazing. Um, how many people did you? Uh, Natalie actually missed the question, right? Can you speak again? Yeah, I remember the event oh. that you had in the fall. Can you oh. hear me? Can okay. you hear me? There you go. Yes, yes. Do you remember the wonderful event that you had in the fall and Glenn attended that event? Can you tell us about it? Um, what the event was for and what it did for you and your business and your team? Uh, yeah, definitely. It's a very, very good question. Right? So uh, when I was in, uh, I think in Vegas, I met uh, Glenn for the first time. Mm -hmm. I thought okay, it was a conversation like this. I thought, okay, why don't we do something in, in Canada? Because we have those mega events happening in the US all of a sudden. And then I went to EXP Con and I went to exclusive mastermind even in Denver. Then I requested Glenn again, why don't we do something here? And then he was uh, he attending one of the conference here. It was a mega ev uh, e event uh, on, by organized by Oria mm -hmm. here in Canada. I thought, okay, this is an opportunity, Glenn. Why not we collaborate on that? And then uh, what we did, uh, we had more than 300 agents in the office. 
as of now it was not it was not related to exp anyhow it was more about the value about the next generation system how you can scale your system so we have a top agents coming in glenn was here it, it was i think it was crazy and even glenn was surprised to see that energy he had he said like i have never seen that type of uh, uh like uh, celebration the energy uh, ever before we had like traditional indian right so we were there with the garlands right the flowers right we have music everywhere i, I think it was totally amazing and uh, as of now we were in one of the event today the people recognized me because of that mm. now coming to the side effect of oh i was in 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 your event that you organized with glen was there so that's that's the visibility Amazing. you have and as a real estate agent i believe we'll be working with another real estate agent mm. and we, if you already have that relationship right so this will go you long way right it will take you long way in your deals and your business and your credibility right and in the and that's what i feel i never thought that's going to help me this way mm. but right now people know me because of that and i feel i take pride in that okay i never thought this will be the benefit of it yeah. i wanted to help other people yeah. to be in network of glen right just to see what how billionaire mindset th- thing mm. and i remember i asked like uh, asked like, uh, glen was sitting here i asked the like, same question you now glen do billionaires have problems too like us <laughs> yeah, like they they also have the problems of the listing agent and other this new agent right this like buyers yes they also have the problems but the mind is mindset is different their solutioning is different they are there okay the problem is there we are there to solve solve mm-hmm. i think definitely it impacted our team members with the glance presence if people wow. feel they touch it okay this is like real john sai right <laughs> they can see it otherwise they could have just noted the person on the social media that's yeah. all uh, it happens i think it increases your credibility Uh, it uh, it adds value to you value to your network value to your mm. clients in the future it was amazing even uh, natalie i would say we will organize more like that uh, definitely with with you uh, coming here the whole you know nadia here right so that's that's a support system we need definitely and glen yeah. didn't need to come and he he was here right i mean I, when, when are you going to ever meet uh, the ceo and founder of the company and just the like player. that yeah, that's so so okay. that just goes to show the humility of our leader yes um nadia any questions yes um, yes um, you guys have to meet mandeep it was it's a it's a pleasure working with you um the event that you put on was absolutely amazing like natalie said aside from the event what i would like to ask you is what is the biggest value proposition for new agents coming into exp so what what i feel is uh, uh i feel the new agent journey is like that right it's like up and down you're really excited once you're getting licensed you're excited and you're really excited i need to join the brokerage and then all of a sudden that fades in it's like you know and goes like that and i feel within maybe you can relate to that 3 to 6 months most of the agents are out of business mm. there is a reason for that why that happens because they're full of energy they don't know what to do with that energy like yeah. people come to me as a new agent they don't know what they should do they should do uh, social media they go door knocking where's the buyers coming from where the listing coming from where where the lease how they can network how they can uh, increase their uh, sphere of influence so they are confused they are bubbling with energy but they are not able to focus on mm. one thing that's the crazy thing happen and then by the time they are out of business mm. and to add to that the worst is if they're in the crazy market which we have seen from almost one year a lot of the people are sitting on the sideline mm-hmm. they're saying the ma- the magic should happen the business should come automatically to them even that will happen with the veteran agents also yeah. even with the new agents right. so that's the struggling thing and this is the story of a traditional uh brokerage i would say where they just go into excitement and there's only one person that is called broker of record sitting there oh no no that's okay you go out with the business i am there to support you and if they talk to any top producing agent uh, they'll just ignore them oh this is a new agent coming and just take side from them it's going to be uh, uh take my energy it's my focus why i should share my secrets with this guy because i'll be struggling with the same city same street with them so that's a mindset app mm-hmm. but mindset totally drastically changes here and that 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 was a key thing when we found our group also because our culture is we are here to help each other mm-hmm. it's okay it's not about the revenue sure it's not about the business the thing is that if i help john tomorrow john will think about me right it's, mm-hmm. it's all about give 
and all things will automatically fall in, in direction for you that's that's what i feel is the best culture with the exp with the new agents coming in obviously there i just want to put a asterisk symbol is it depends which sponsor you join in mm. maybe john you can relate to that so it's not about the hiring if if you're join people who are just into the hiring mode that'll be difficult for you because they haven't done the business mm -hmm. real estate business comes when you are on the road when you are on the street it's not coming when you are in the office mm -hmm. so you need to have that mindset if you are there to hustle you are there for the hard work if you have the patience and the the whole technology whole t training is there it's a meta world is full of the training and john even we talked today john said okay why not you plug into our system mm -hmm. we are doing eight trainings in a week why not you utilize that rather than reinventing your own wheel i said okay well good i have my new agents coming in i say okay this is the top performer well like uh, why not you plug into the system and start applying that nobody does that have you ever thought in your career the top real estate agent in your brokerage anywhere else sharing their secret no. never they won't do it doesn't happen yeah so this yeah. happens in exp because if you grow we grow and exp grow together as a family that's exactly. really important yeah. yeah and i think it's crucial for new agents to yes. come in to have the mentorship and coaching yes. right away right and we're all working as one so you know i think just to touch on that uh, you know i came in to the real estate industry for the first year and a half, I had no support, right? Yes. And not until I joined a team and they, you know, they would take a split. But yes. here, new agents don't have to pay yes. us, a team leader, yes. split. Um, they don't have to join a team. We still mentor and coach them. Yes. And we have a 12 week mentorship, uh, you know, mega agent bootcamp program for them to, from A to Z, know exactly what to do to how to take a listing, do a buyer, the whole nine yards. So I think it's absolutely crucial that um, you know the public knows that that we have that program, uh, Natalie. Yeah, Nadia. And just, uh, yeah. That was loud. Um, Mandeep, can you remind everyone how long you've been in the business, where you were before EXP, and then what's next? There are so many questions in that. Just to add on that, just on the last question I missed right there, like in Canada, they launched that mentor and mentee program also. And I think that's a plus. Yes. For a new real estate agent, if they want to be go into a mentorship, they can do that. And then it, it's more of a shadow thing that can happen. Mm. So I think that that was there in the US before. Now they came out, they came into Canada also. That's, that's a good opportunity for right. us. Right. Yeah. So we mentor, just launched it. Yeah, yeah. Just launched, right? Just to add on my experience, I always tell my clients ask me, right? How long have you been in the business, right? I always tell, like, when I was a kid, I was doing real estate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so uh, see, um, if you come to my background, so. Uh, uh, my parents they they were from india right so we were ha having a farming background and as a farmer the best thing you love is the land mm. so you want to acquire more land so you to gr to grow more uh, uh, agriculture right so just to flourish that's the that's there in the mindset so i had the same wives and me i wanted to acquire more land or whatever right the sort of a business and when i landed here i thought no land is not the more lucrative here it's uh, it's different it's housing is the main thing and the, uh, the whole real estate industry in canada runs on housing that's that's the bread and butter even if you have to do like before this call we were working with a gravel guy right now the gravel guy is what they they have to create a basement a side entrance they have to do they have to put it now because the tenants can go in that's the now the tenants will pay that that goes to the land or landlord pays for the utilities it's a cycle that that comes and it all comes from the real estate yeah even one listing comes up there's a staging guy there's a cleaner guy there's like uh, uh, a photographer there's a videographer there's a marketing so many things and it's one listing brings money uh, on that food on the table of 100 people so then i thought oh this is this is the creative why not i pursue that and when i bought my first uh, uh, real estate property here i was not getting the experience the way uh, the way i wanted i had bought the property and then on the closing day to my surprise when i entered the property see you are buying a property and the first you're a first time home buyer there is a garbage everywhere mm. how, how will be your experience on that day not good i thought no this this is not the way right i can do better than those real estate agent and then i don't want that experience to happen to my clients i can do like a better service to them and they can do better uh, decisions and this is a emotions feelings attached to them being a first time home buyers in canada so this is how my journey started and then from a first time home buyer i went to so what, what when was that that was when you got into real estate. Uh, to, i would say 2016 2016 yeah so okay. 16 right so that that was like when i bought the home right i went into the the whole uh, uh, think of investment when i bought the first property i thought okay this is good and i can rent it out i was still in the basement and i bought two properties i was still renting them out because those properties were cash flowing and the basement rent was cheaper 
I thought this is a smart way, right? So you can save on that and you have assets being building up. Mm -hmm. And then I went directly into the investment sort of thing. I went to do flipping. Uh, so that okay, uh, so 2016 you bought your own yeah, place. Yeah, 16, right? 17, right? And 17, I bought another one. When did you one. get licensed? License, official agent. license in 2019. 2019? Yes, 2019. And then uh, before Only COVID. Only three, four years. Wow, good for you. Uh, wow. 19. I got everything done and then COVID happened. Gotcha. And then I thought, okay, I don't want to be into real estate. And right? what so brokerage did you sign up with? I was with Home Life, right? Home Life, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Uh, so Home Life, see, Home Life is a good starting point. The people like who want to say, oh, I want to work with myself. I'm good. That's what I thought. I'm good for the, for myself. I don't have to help anyone. At least I can go ahead with my own investments and all those portfolio. Right. Then I realized the potential of it. If I help John and getting good property, I'm getting paid well, right? Yeah. And I'm good doing good service to them. I can use the same license to help my investments also. Mm -hmm. I scaled from them, and then within one year, I like more than I've done more than one million of GCI. I thought, okay, this is this is crazy, right? Why not I can have a team? And so I can help, right? Because I was running everywhere. I was yeah. in London. I was in you now one day in Niagara, another in Sudbury, all the all four sides of it. So I thought I need a sort of a team, but I didn't get the support from the uh, the brokerage. They said like their viewpoint was different. Uh, they wanted to be a solo. Their, yeah. their model is totally different. I thought, okay, why not I explore more opportunities where people can join me and we can expand the business. If I can do it, you can do it also. Others can do too, uh, right? So then, then I was looking into the opportunities. Then this is what EXP came into picture, gotcha. right? And this is, I thought, it's good for a team. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to be in Alberta, right? So we want to do mm -hmm. a lot of business. A lot of people were moving there. I don't want to miss an opportunity. Yeah. So I got licensed in two provinces just because of EXP and it's I'm, I'm not paying any extra fees. So this is how the journey started. That's awesome. And uh, what's next for you? Next, uh, obviously, uh, as of now, our core focus is I'm more of a goal-oriented person. For this year, so we have to uh, I have to personally, as a team, it's have to sell 100 homes because last year I was more on the team part. Yeah. I was more focused on the uh, team uh, expansion. As of now, because the market changed, and you need to, what I feel is you need to be really hands-on in this type of market. 100%. You cannot rely on the team. You need to be leader because if the fight is going on, king cannot sit behind. So that's what I felt I need to jump in. As of now, our team is busy. Uh, uh, I, I was talking to John on my birthday also. I was on listing presentation. My family was waiting, right? And the people are saying there's no business and I don't have time. Also, after this call, I'll be going in another listing appointment. Wow. So, and we went, we came from another training as of that's now. So right. this is all the schedule is. So for me, it's 100 homes, 100 families to be helped this year. Uh, that's uh, uh, that's our core team, not a group. We have a group of more than fifty. I'm talking talking specifically about Just our family, team. yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was really inspired when I uh, met uh, the people in the event. The DK was there. He was showing me a two million a check, right? And then we even clicked a picture of it. So this is how you feel the energy of it. If DK can do it, if John can do it, you who, can do that, it. What, what yeah. is holding me back doing exactly. that business? So that's that's what I feel that happens in a collaborative environment in EXP. So for me, obviously helping more people this year, uh, it is a tough market. That is what is a challenge for us to scale more and to fight more and help the team grow. That's that's the focus. And we're fighting the good fight together, my yeah. brother. <laughs> yeah. uh, Nadia, last but not least, any questions? Thank you, John. Um, Mindy, it's been an honor having you on with us. We so appreciate you and all the support that you give to EXP and, you know, the model and just your energy and the level of care. And um, we appreciate you taking the time out of your day to be on a call with us today and sharing, you know, your events and sharing what you do with your team. And we look forward on having you um, at more Facebook live sessions with us, but thank you again for everything that you do at EXP Mendeep. We really appreciate you and we wish you a very happy and successful year and hopefully we'll see you in person very, very soon. Thank you, Mendeep. Oh, uh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, thanks to John. Thanks to Nadia and Natalie and uh, organizing this and giving us an opportunity to be lying uh, in front of people. I feel even if I'm able to impact one people of life, that will make my whole day, whole, whole week, whole year for that. This is all about the impact that you are doing about the society because everyone is working for themselves. Right. Yeah. But if you can change someone's life, this is this will take you beyond and above all those things. These, if you can help other people achieve their dreams, this is what what can be better than that. Thank you, John. Thanks Thank for you your so taking much. your time, right? Thank, Thank you, guys. Uh, and uh, love day. from Missy Saga here, right? Thank you. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you.